Welcome to our bonus episode of Beyond the Gate, our Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood podcast. And uh, we're just kind of borrowing this idea from a YouTuber called Emma Richu, who did this series, this really fun series of videos on her channel uh, called Childhood Crushes. We thought it would be really fun and funny if we did that as well. All right, so who wants to open us up? <laughs> um, Let's see. My first one, I think I was eight years old. <laughs> you know Avatar? <laughs> yeah. A lot of people have heard of that show, right? I liked Aang. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Basically, you remember the episode with, like, the fortune teller with Ming? Oh, um, like, yeah. Like, on Ming, too. That was yeah. basically, like, Ming. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was like, cute. oh, he's so cute. And he's like so um, energetic and optimistic. I think that's what I liked about him. <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah I, I didn't watch that until I was older. Yep. But Same. I think I probably would have had a crush on Zuko. No matter and what. And I do now. <laughs> Zuko's hot. No pun intended. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I Yes. Zuko. I think. I just was so invested in Zuko's character arc. By the end of season one, I was like, is it wrong that I, I like a villain? And then by season two, when he starts growing his hair out, I'm like, I don't care. I like him. <laughs> mm-hmm. I remember like one of the first episodes, I was like, I think he's going to be good. Yeah, like his character development was really good. Like, mm-hmm. I think it was like the set the standards and expectations high for other characters that go through development arcs. <laughs> yes, for sure. Especially the villain to hero arcs. Yes. Yeah. Also, I love love seeing his hair change. Amazing. And also, like he's got that scar, which is gives his gives his look makes it a little more interesting, unique. Yeah. 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 And then Shoto comes up later on. Shoto. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, he also has a scar, and it, it yeah. like a tragic backstory. <laughs> I I briefly had a crush on him when I first started watching it, but. I don't know. I I watched it when I was older, and then, but I I like I like those those moody, those moody boys. <laughs> yeah, I like Shoto a lot too. Well, obviously, because I cosplayed him, and you cosplayed Zuko. But yeah, that's true. <laughs> we were the Scar, Scar twins. twins. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, I think when the show first started, I was I was definitely like. I'm gonna like him. I just know I'm gonna like Shoto. He seemed a little rude at first, but then you learn his backstory, and then he starts warming up to people. And I was like, okay, he's he's attractive and he's got a good heart, so that's that's really good. But then the more characters we started meeting, the more like I still like Shoto. But season four came, and Tamaki Yamajiki <laughs> waltzed into the show. <laughs> he just walked in with his shy boy self sulking in the corner. <laughs> When I first saw him, I was a little bit annoyed because he was shy to the point of not, you know, even being a a contributing character. But then I saw what his quirk was and how capable he was out in the field and how caring he was towards his friends. And before I knew it, I was like, oh, dang, I have a crush on him. (laughs) (laughs) He's got the pretty elf ears and the cool hair. (laughs) Yeah, he has a lot of potential as a character, which also... Mm -hmm is um very admirable i mean he um muriel believed in him for a you know a reason so <laughs> yeah coming off of that so tamaki yamajiki is voiced by aaron dismuke who voices another character that recently meg has just <laughs> fallen for oh <laughs> <laughs> well, uh yes i love senku from dr stone i knew it he's like <laughs> <laughs> he I there's so many reasons I love his look I love his his hair and I like that he's really smart and he's funny and he's very passionate about what he does that's like my favorite thing about him and like when he gets to work and he's focused (laughs) I'm like oh my heart (laughs) (laughs) yeah I've only seen one episode but I can already tell (laughs) that he's a good character (laughs) yes (laughs) Yes. <laughs> My crush from Dr. Stone is Ukyo. He, he's he got white hair, uh, piercing blue eyes. He wears a, a hat all the time. He's a great archer. And um, he also has just 
a very sweet, pure heart. He doesn't want people to get hurt, and he wants to protect his friends, and he will, like, take a bullet for people. Or not a bullet, but, you know, whatever weapons they've got in the stone world. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Mm, yes. Uh, <laughs> speaking speaking of newsboy taps, I love newsies, and I, I thinking about the the old. I don't even remember when that movie came out, but nineteen ninety something. Like oh, Spot. <laughs> yes, such a cutie, but he's also he's very. Uh, I love that it's so funny that everybody's afraid of him, but he's like so small. <laughs> I don't know. None of us are the are the tallest people ever. So it's it's <laughs> nice to know that we can still even if you're short, you can still strike fear in the hearts of of people. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't that right? <laughs> I I think like my youngest crush that I can remember, I was probably like I was probably like 8 was um Peter Pan from the live action Peter Pan movie. It's uh uh Jeremy Sumter. He <laughs> I literally okay, I I just love that movie, but it was mostly because of him. I wanted to be Wendy very badly. And <laughs> it's just okay, it's so magical. Like there's like this beautiful like fairy dance where he like dances with her in the sky and <laughs> like I wanted to be and like the, the looks that he gives her in the movie like like oh my gosh like this is so cute yeah and I wish I wish somebody would look at me like that the way that he he looks at her oh someone will someone will <laughs> so sweet <laughs> funny that you mentioned that because he's one of my honorable mentions <laughs> yes like, um, I thought he was really attractive but um I didn't have a crush on him <laughs> mm uh Megan what what was your youngest crush that you can remember yeah well I think it might have been Aladdin Aladdin I just, okay he, <laughs> I like that rascally mischievous but with a heart of gold kind of guy in stories they have to have mm-hmm. a good sense of humor um I thought his hair was really cool <laughs> <laughs> the one thing I didn't like was the the shirtless vest thing I think it's so weird to wear a vest without a shirt underneath (laughs) but um I since he was the main character and that was kind of new for me having the prince be the main character in a Disney princess movie I really liked seeing things from his perspective um and that minute where he sees Jasmine in the marketplace for the first time and he does the wow face I was kind of doing that at him. Oh, <laughs> <Aww>, that's cute. <laughs> I, I mean, I grew up with that movie, so I really can't remember the first time I ever watched it. But I grew up knowing that I liked his character. And I think later that kind of turned into a little bit of attraction. Aladdin was, I don't know, he wasn't my crush. I really liked um, Shang from Mulan. He was my... <laughs> <laughs> I, I, first dude. of all, I love the song. I love <laughs> that's probably like one of my favorite Disney songs. The fact that he sings it is uh, makes it a lot better. And I like, I don't know, he's just tall, dark, and handsome. I yep. like it. <laughs> and he knows what he wants. He's very dedicated to his work. Yes, yes. He's very True. passionate about what he does. So he's willing to change his viewpoint in order to mm-hmm. help Mulan. Yes. Mm-hmm. What about you, Ava? Any Disney yeah. crushes? Hmm, I'm looking at my list. Wow, I don't think I had any Disney crushes. <laughs> <laughs> not even Flynn Rider? No, not even Ooh, Flynn Rider. I, I, I also like Flynn Rider. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think I, like I, Disney might have might have um I feel I, like I heard this somewhere. They looked up what makes a guy attractive to a girl and infused Flynn Rider with all of those qualities. <laughs> I believe it. <laughs> Meanwhile, me with my demi romantic self. Nice try. Like, most of my crushes are either main characters or it really involves side characters. And they're either the sweet, nerdy types or the um, optimistic dorks. <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> it's either one of the two. And if they're both at the same time, oh boy. <laughs> so what you're saying is Deku is going to be your favorite crush for a long time. <laughs> He's my strongest fictional crush ever. <laughs> at the moment (laughs) it's really sweet (laughs) but yeah 
<laughs> so this is another Disney character, but he's not a prince. Jim from Treasure Island. Treasure uh, Planet? <laughs> yep. Sorry. Yep. Treasure Planet. Okay. I felt Major bad about crush. having a crush on no, him because cause I... we watched it again when I was 18 and he's a yeah. minor, but I was like, he's really good looking. He is. I really, I really liked him. And I, I watched that when I was, mm. when I was, when I was young. Spunky renegade character. That's, that's no. how to get the girls. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'll uh, share another one of mine. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I have like a, a little bit of like a Nick crushes i guess but <laughs> instead of disney <laughs> but it's um nathan chris from like, icarly <laughs> and you told me that one Freddie from yeah like, like, icarly <laughs> yeah yeah he was my um, first boy hug because i met him um in like a meetup uh meet the fans gathering and um yeah my mom was like why don't you hug him and i'm like can I ask that? And so I, I asked him. He's like, of course. And I'm like, thank oh. you so much. And I was like, oh my gosh. I was really happy that That's day. so sweet. <laughs> Cute. Um, I'm going to stray away from shows and movies and say a book crush that I oh, have see, I didn't, still I, have. Honestly, I thought we could make a second. Second. <laughs> um, <laughs> like, I, I stayed away from that. because there's Because you know, you've got a lot. Yeah, but I'm just gonna say the one because this might get an animated series slash movie soon because I know the rights have been sold. Um, Wolf from the Lunar Chronicles. (laughs) Aw, I saw you choke on your water, Meg. Don't laugh at me. Just we need to see what he looks like because I always imagine him being more looking like a wolf, (laughs) like. So that's the thing. I have the Lunar Chronicles coloring book, and it's right next to me. I will show you that depiction because, oh man. Okay. okay. <laughs> oh, and I colored him in already with um how they described him in the book. So, oh look at his oh locks. okay <laughs> yeah <laughs> I can see it. I'm justified. <laughs> <laughs> I have such a type because um, basically, if they look like <clears throat> Andrew Garfield's depiction of Spider-Man, they are my type. Um, but I thought I was over my teenage crush of Andrew Garfield when that newest Spider-Man came out. And my family, we all went to see it, you know, that Christmas season last year to watch it. And the moment he came on screen and pulled off the mask and everyone in the theater was like, oh, Andrew Garfield, Spider-Man. I felt my face <laughs> just stretch into the dopiest, stupidest grin, and my entire family like leaned over the aisle to look at me because they <laughs> knew, and they teased me forever about it. Like, <laughs> I'm like looking at my list. I'm like, oh my gosh, why? But um, if you um ignore the physical aspect and just <laughs> go oh, with personality, you guys will understand. <laughs> Going with my like nerdy crushes. I tend to like the brainiacs of the group <laughs> most of the time. So <laughs> um, for a little bit, <laughs> um, yeah, for a little bit, I liked Kowalski from Penguins of Madagascar <laughs> and Donatello from TMNT. <laughs> okay, because- okay, I can see Donnie. I can see Donnie because he's more humanoid, but Kowalski... <laughs> Not because they're like animals, I swear. <laughs> but it's because of the nerd aspect and there's the like sweeties. <laughs> yeah, I you know what? Uh if you do like an animal and not in a furry way, I'm not gonna tease you about it because you like the personality. I, I wanted to yeah. get on show topics because like Rather than having a specific character from the show, I feel like we can talk about the show in general with a lot of guys from it. So the first one I'm going to bring up is Haikyuu. Uh-huh. So, uh-huh. I'm say that. <laughs> <laughs> Ava, I- did you like one of the guys in particular from that show? Um, I had friend crushes. I had squishes, <laughs> not crushes. <laughs> <That's cute. laughs> so cute. I feel like well, you're going to say Kuro. Um. Carol's pretty cool. Yeah, I have a squish on him. 
Yeah, I really only have one crush, and Megan knows this because we talk about it all the time because we're like, if you can marry anybody from Haiku, who would it be? <laughs> and I would marry Daichi in a heartbeat. He's just so responsible. <laughs> he's just like, he's takes care of his team. I love it that, like, everybody's kind of afraid of him. Like, <laughs> like don't make Daichi angry. And it's so cute when, like, He's he's friends with that one girl and I I just he's so kind to her and and I just love it. I know he he'd be he'd be a great husband. I know he's going to be a great husband. So yeah. I, <laughs> Good old Dachi. <Dad> yes. <laughs> he's basically, yes. I am attracted to quite a few boys from my like, <laughs> like they're all very sweet, but thinking realistically about personality wise and and maybe a bit of looks factors into it but if i could marry one of the dudes it would be suga Mm -hmm. Suga. yeah Yeah, honestly he would be like my second choice yeah Mm -hmm. he's just he's very kind towards everybody he can be goofy when he wants to be um and i think just that level of of emotional awareness that he has is uncommon with a lot of uh people his age so he's he's wise beyond his years in certain terms um and he's also a very good teacher and it's he's not teaching people because he just has to and has to get it over with he wants to spend time with them and see them learn and grow yeah I love that I love like I'm really attracted to like guys who have emotional intelligence and they really do care about other people (laughs) that also gets me oh my gosh (laughs) (laughs) ever since that that crush I've (laughs) I have a thing for guys with freckles now (laughs) (laughs) um the other show I wanted to bring up that has a great male cast would be Fruits Basket yeah oh yes I have an honorable mention and I used to have a crush on one of the characters back then I had a a small crush on Yuki Soma when I was in high school (laughs) yeah like um I really like his like um soft like um his like soft moments with Toru Mm -hmm. and basically how he like grew up and developed over time um Mm -hmm. I once shipped him with Toru and then I shipped Toru with Kyo and then like towards the end with Momiji when I discovered that Momiji liked Toru for a little bit (laughs) then and then he grew up (laughs) yeah that glow up Momiji has like the best glow up in anime history (laughs) yeah like Momiji Momiji is my honorable mention, but he's very, very close. If not, I just might just put him into, like, character mm-hmm. crushes anyways. Yeah. But, um, yeah, he has everything that I'm looking for in a guy. He's emotionally intelligent. He is very kind. He's wiser than, like, people give him credit for. He's very optimistic, despite um, his tough upbringing. Um, he has some similarities with me. We both play violin. We're both mixed. We're both really affectionate people. <laughs> <laughs> and I love bunnies um so that's that (laughs) yeah um the award for character crush for that show goes to Hatsuharu (laughs) Haru Haru. (laughs) I love Haru he is he cares so much about everybody that he loves yeah and and the thing about Haru is like like Meg said he's very kind towards people and really cares about people um it seemed like he was going to be gay and that he liked Yuki. And so, you know, that's, then I'm like, well, I can't have a character crush on him now. But Mm -hmm. um, when you see the reboot and you get to finish the story, he cares for Yuki and he does like say that he loves Yuki and confesses love, but he has a girlfriend that like he, he and, and Rin are meant to be together, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) The more I watched his interactions with Yuki, the more I saw that the kind of love he had for Yuki was a special one all its own. It wasn't romantic, and it wasn't brotherly. It was, like, just this pure, honest, I care about you so much, and you, you've you done so much for me in my life that I want to do everything in my power to protect you. And mm-hmm. that mm-hmm. kind of love is very uncommon to see in media, so it, just, it made me love Haru even more. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing I liked about Fruit Basket a lot, is that it focuses not only... Like it, its main focus isn't on, like on like romantic love only. It's on different types of love. Yeah, uh, Meg, I know, I know who you're gonna say, but why don't you say who you like? I I like Kyo. 
he he was he was my guy I don't know I like I like seeing I like seeing him progress on his journey like first he's like a very emotionally closed off and just like angry at the world but then um both through both Toru and Yuki too he he learns to be honest and show how he really feels and I don't I just like I just relate to him on that on that part like just learning learning how to emote normally and not just like <laughs> I I didn't like how angry he was like don't love that but like I really like I just really like him and I always I always shipped him and him and uh Taru yeah like, yeah should be together <laughs> yeah. um moving on to video games I wanted to confess a crush um Claude from Fire Emblem <laughs> I knew it <laughs> well, I've it before but I knew it again <laughs> yeah. so um I mean like I almost had a crush on him <laughs> why wouldn't you okay, he, he has why like wouldn't a I? really interesting look I love that yes so here's the thing I saw his design I'm like he looks super awesome found out he was an archer yeah that's one of my favorite classes in Fire Emblem besides mage and then I heard his voice actors like that's the perfect voice for him um and then I watched the playthrough and he's like you can choose which house to join in that game and he's the golden deer house you join his house and he's like the only one of the house leaders who isn't royalty and he's funny and quirky and mischievous and like still a good leader and I was like oh no my heart has been stolen <laughs> once again <laughs> <laughs> I have to admit that my heart did flutter a little bit during the tea time event and I had it one <laughs> yeah. with him and I'm like oh my gosh I am just like all those other people who have a crush on him he's also very yeah. popular <laughs> the one thing I don't like about his character is that when he's he's flirty so you don't know if he's sincere like Claude also gives me like Hawks vibes from My Hero Academia Hawks <laughs> <laughs> yes oh yeah okay hawks. I, mean, I don't really i don't really have any crushes in my hero but hawks and also he's like closer, closer to, to your age so it's <laughs> yeah I think yeah the only 21. other the only other guy close to our okay, age is yeah. sugaraki so who are you gonna choose <laughs> <laughs> yeah I, okay i was gonna say we mentioned archery there's one archer that i really love He's Legolas. from Lord of the Rings. Yes. Uh, yeah, I see. <laughs> I love Legolas. He's, I love his, I'm not usually a fan of like long hair, but I love his hair. Um, I, I just really love archery. So like that mm -hmm. is like a big, big piece. But he also is just like wise and quiet. And, and I love his, his friendship with um friendship slash rivalry, rivalry with, <laughs> with, with oh with, with Gimli uh, yep yep mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah I I think I have like two crushes in the game category I think <laughs> <laughs> we'll see <laughs> but um there is Yusung from Mystic Messenger um Yusung was it's like a 21 year old college student so I guess so um <laughs> basically um, Mystic Messenger is a phone game that you play where basically oh, wait. you, you might have shown me that <laughs> is that the one where like you're in this group chat with the guys yes and oh yeah <laughs> yep and so like um Yusung he is the the sweet one of the group he is a little bit gullible um and he loves video games and he's still trying to figure himself out but he's very sweet and he just wants to like fall in love so like um when he falls in love with you he's very sweet um he cooks <laughs> Um, he really cares about animals. <laughs> um, he sounds like Megan might have a crush on. <laughs> He's You're checking a lot of her boxes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and he has like the sweetest voice too. So like, um, he wants to be your hero, basically. Um, mm -hmm. And the other one, uh, video game wise, is a little bit more questionable. Um, so this one isn't even part of a game; it's part of like. Uh, someone who's a fan of that game made this character, and I like them. <laughs> <laughs> so, kudos to whoever made this character. Um, it's Ink Sans 
and he's from the Undertale I, AU. <laughs> the one with the paintbrush. Yeah, so he's yeah. like an artsy, he's artistic. Um, I don't like him because he's a skeleton. I actually, for the longest time, I had a fear of skeletons, but I guess, I don't know. <laughs> but I guess that like um, pretty much went around because like, I like his personality. He's a trickster. He's kind of like um, a thief kind of character, but not really. He, um, I think Megan will like him personality wise, actually. But uh, the main thing is that he has to refill his paints because they are what gives him his emotions. So um, basically, if he like swallows a color, he'll have that emotion. So red is like anger or something like that. He, he usually drinks all of them at once so he can like um, behave like a normal being, basically. And when he like runs out of them, he turns blank, like he can't feel anything. So I just thought that um, that uh, type of character is really cool. I feel like I only I only have a few left, actually. Um, I another another crush I had when I was young. I I was in elementary school. Was um, Wesley from The Princess Bride? Ah, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I loved him. He was yeah. Well, he had an accent that was. <laughs> really like that um and he's also just like the start of their love story so sweet like as you wish yes. <laughs> so sweet um, and then he literally like goes after what he wants and i like that mm-hmm. <laughs> and he wears that that black suit with the yep. mask and he knows and, how to sword fight yes he knows how to sword fight and he's also like even though he's like trying to rescue his love, he only he doesn't want to kill anybody, and he respects people. I mean, the only person that he kills is that one guy, and not even really that. That was yeah. his own fault. Yeah, it was <laughs> a battle of wits, and the other guy was too cocky and lost mm-hmm. miserably. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. And- Okay, I actually still have kind of quite a few on my list, but I won't. I won't share all of them. So <laughs> <laughs> we continue. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Another one that was a little. Uh, I think I was twelve the first time I saw this movie, but Captain America. I was Captain definitely. America. <laughs> Captain America. I liked Bucky. Girl. Okay, also loved Bucky when he was at once not actually like before, not in the first movie, but the second movie when he had that cool. The arm. Cool arm. I love that. And yeah, I guess I I like when <laughs> I like when guys are like cool. Because I really <laughs> like Bucky, but then I also love Captain Levi from Attack mm. on Titan. <laughs> like uh, you're gonna say him. Yeah. <laughs> he every time he fights a Titan, I am like get so excited. I also, I also like Captain Levi because he's got that that tragic backstory. He's he's kind of aloof, um, and he's short. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's short. I think he's shorter than I am. It's like five three, I think. <laughs> yep. Yeah, he's shorter than me. <laughs> Shout out to all my short boys. Shout out. Yes. <laughs> oh <not> yes. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I think. I don't necessarily have a crush on Ed, but there are moments where you're like, oh yep. yeah, Ed. <laughs> there there are <laughs> definite moments. Honestly, there are there are moments with a lot of those characters, like the episode that we just um that we just recorded, uh yeah. episode eighteen, yeah. Dean Havoc. When he when they were when they were rescuing Ross, like I was watching that and all of a sudden I was like, Oh. Hi Gene. I I, yeah. I was like, Oh, okay. I think I kind of like him. I think <laughs> there are times when I find Roy attractive, but he's, Same. his personality changes so much from serious to goofy mm-hmm. that I never really, yeah, my crush like, never really sticks. Yeah, it's hard <laughs> to get a read on him. Like, who right. are you actually? Like, Right, exactly. And he loves Riza, so I, you know, yeah, you're like, I like you that. Can right. You can have him. Um, you can <laughs> deal with his his attitude. Um, yeah, and she can deal with his attitude. Yes. <laughs> I will admit there was a point when they're all fighting the homunculi and Ling is with them and he takes off his shirt and he has a sword in his mouth. And in that moment, I was like, oh boy. (laughs) 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 
um honorable mention al from formal alchemist oh <laughs> another aaron dismuke character <laughs> <laughs> i thought he was just really sweet and like yeah I didn't have like a full on character crush on him, but I'm like, oh, he would be like a really nice guy if I were to meet him in real life. Yeah. Um, another honorable mention, Jack Frost from Rise of the Guardians. Yes. Oh, <laughs> yes, yes. Because he's really attractive. Yes. <laughs> he may be, he may have cool powers, but he's hot. <laughs> uh, do you have a couple more, Meg? Well, I, I have... I do have a few more ones that I think we share. Um, <laughs> so one is Hook from Once Upon, Once a, Upon time. a Time. Yeah, <laughs> Killian Jones. Yeah. Again, that that tall, dark, and handsome. Yeah. And he <laughs> also can he can sword fight. I love that. Just hot, honestly. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Um, and then there's like this super random anime that me and Megan watched. Um, it was called <laughs> Emma, a, a Victorian romance. And like, I pretty much liked all the guys in it, except, except for the, the main, main one. Except the main <laughs> guy. Uh, two guys, mostly. Um, Hakeem. He's like an Indian prince. And he Hakeem is. Hakeem is my one true love in that show. Yes. He is, he is just. He just says it like it is. And I love it. And like he's the the romance is between like a a girl who's a servant and then like the main guy is like a rich dude so it's like ooh they can't be together and Hakeem's like who cares be together like yeah yes. and I love it. he's from India they have different yeah. conventions over there so he sees all this English nonsense happening and he's like why yep <laughs> yep and then and then um. The the guy that I that I like more is his name is Hans, and I secretly thought that he and Emma should be together. But he's he, very kind. Yeah, he was very kind, and and he he was so cool because he was like in love with her. But then she was like, "I'm in love with someone else." Instead of like being all angry, he was like, "I understand. Like you go be with him, and oh, I'm gonna help I just, you." Yeah, yeah, I appreciated that so much. Plus, he has a great German accent. Yes, he does. He's got he's got an accent. Oh, <laughs> they all do. Checking all the boxes here. <laughs> but yeah. Um, and then we didn't even get into this, but Barbie movies, basically, like <laughs> any <laughs> any like of love interest, like I probably had a crush on, but specifically, really liked. Um, I think it was King Dominic from The Prince and the Pauper. Nice. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. And then I guess I, I guess I also kind of have some honorable, uh, honorable mentions just to, um, both both anime. One is Aaron from Attack on Titan, but after his glow up, um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't like him before because he's just like a whiny, annoying kid, but now he's like, he's very dark and brooding. Um. <laughs> Um, I also I do kind of like Genos from um, yeah. One Punch Man, even though he's like mostly, too. even though he's mostly robot. Like, or no, 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 I I kind of had a cyborg. A little, like, I had a little crushlet on him too, probably because of the cyborg thing. Yeah, and his hair. I but you it. know me, I, I like <laughs> I like auto male. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought it was so interesting because basically every part of him is metal except for his his. Um, major organs, his head, and his mm -hmm. spinal cord. But yeah, he has cool hair, and I like how his <laughs> his sclera is black. That one was that's really cool. That yeah. really cool context to cosplay as. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he kind of creepy though. <laughs> Any other crushes you guys have? I think I went through my list. Yeah, I I mean I guess I have more, but since we're kind of running out of time, I thought maybe we could end it there. Yeah, yeah, we probably should. <laughs> All right, well. Yep. This was super fun. I hope it was. you guys enjoy it. Um, happy Valentine's Day. Uh, yeah, follow us on Instagram at Full Metal Beyond the Gate. And if you know what, I will probably like make some kind of post where you guys can, or like I, where you guys can share any childhood crushes that you have because I would love to hear, we would love to hear them. Um, because I'm sure there's ones that we have forgotten about. And Ava, is there like 
any Instagram or anything, YouTube channel that you want to plug? Sure, uh, sure. Yeah, <laughs> so I'm on Instagram, the Shazer, Ava, and uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to post more stuff on there. But uh, other than that, yes, please leave your comments in the, in the in the area <laughs> yeah and thanks and, thanks for coming on with us today yeah Anna. it was yeah, of great course. <laughs> feel free to share your gonna... current ones people yeah all right all right bye 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 <laughs>